police are outside. I guess they would be. I'd have done anything for him once. We all make mistakes, Princess. When are you going to talk to him? Who? The police. Why would I want to do that? Phil did threaten to kill you. Dennis told me. Even what it mean, Vicky out of Walford. Oh, that boy. That boy what? Well, you know what he's like. He's a drama queen. Makes a meal of most things. What things? He knows. Ask him. What are you really doing here, Dad? Last I knew, I lived here. You're hiding something. Look, the man's on the run. He's hardly going to call in here and pull a cracker with us, is he? What are you doing? Well, there's a draft. Well, I thought you said things were okay. Well, they are. Then why are you locking the windows and door? It's a rough area. You think Phil's coming here, didn't you? What with all the police outside now? What have you done, Dad? Oh, let it go. What have you done? Nothing. Trust me. I'm sorry. That smile of yours don't wash with me like it used to. Hiya. Hi, darling. I still don't know what you saw in him, Sharon. Run out. I'll get in the camp. No, stay where you are. Keep an eye on Vicky and Sharon. Don't let them out of your sight. Well, how am I supposed to do that? Lock them in their rooms? If that's what it takes, yes. And who's going to be looking out for you? Just look after the girls, all right, without panicking anyone this time. Well, that's easy to say when you don't care. Maybe if you'd have let me tell her like I wanted to from the start. Have you ever seen her lose it? Once or twice. Well, it's 20 times worse this time around. And she's going to hate you in more ways than you ever imagined. No, she wouldn't do that. You want to protect her or not? Of course. You sure of that? That's all I want. Exactly the same for me. So just keep a lid on it and lock the door after I've gone. Where's Dad gone? Didn't say. I'm not going to be fogged off, Dennis. You can't tell me Phil wants Dad dead and expect me to forget about it. Look, I panicked a bit. No, you panicked a lot. Maybe I had a reason. And? I was worried about you. And? Oh, well, then helping out Lisa and all that, you know, getting Louise back, I might have overreacted. You know, it's not nearly as dramatic as I made it sound. Well, it must have been. You told me to go away for well, a few days. I was worried days. about you. That's all. You know, now I've had time to think it through. And, of course, when you do think about it... Yeah, go on. Well, all the history with you and Phil. I mean, he's hardly likely to come after your dad now, is he? What would you know? I'm just saying, I'm just putting it out there. Well, maybe you're right. Maybe you wouldn't. Well, there you go, then. There's nothing to worry about. It was just panic. <laughs> Absolutely. Hi, I'm, I'm going out. Well, no, you're not. <laughs> just watch me. Look, there's, um... Stuff going on at the moment, and I just need you here right now. I'll be fine. Vicky, just this one time for me. Yeah? I want to tell you why, but I can't. Not right now. So I'm just going to have to ask you to trust me. Can you do that? Yeah, well, I suppose one day can't hurt, can it? <laughs> Thanks. I mean it. I'll be in my room. Is Vicky all right? Yeah, yeah, she seems to be. Oh, I'll get that. No, it's no need. That's all right. I'm there now. Hello? It's me. Open the door. What's this? A welcoming for me? Where have you been? Out and about. Doing what? Well, this and that. I'm sick of this, Dad. Sick of what? Stop doing this! They better find Mitchell soon. Your insurance. Thanks. Insurance? Figure of speech. What's in the package? Nothing. Won't mind if I have a look. Oh. What's this? What are you doing with a gun? What the hell are you doing with a gun, Dad? Well, come on, say something! Something that isn't a lie. Uh, hey, what's going on? This is going on. All right. Was that all you can say? I'm as shocked as you are. This is our house. This is where we live, and you're bringing a gun in here. A gun, Dad. Just mind it for some. Don't lie to me. Dennis Teller. Well, come on, Dennis. I'm waiting. 
It's like the man says, he's just minding it for someone. I want to know what you've done, Dad. I told you. No. No, there's something else there always is with you. Now, what is it? You know everything. Look, I think I've got everyone spooked with this Lisa business and I'm sorry. No. No, it's more than that. I want to know exactly how you helped Lisa. I just helped her. Well, spell it out. What did you do? I got a kid back with his mother. If that's a crime, then I'm guilty. Oh, keep talking. You might just start convincing yourself of it. I am convinced. Well, that gun says you're not. Look, this is Phil Mitchell's daughter we're talking about. That kid is his life. He'll hunt her down with everything he's got. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. He will. There you go, then. Means he won't be coming here, will he? He'll be looking for Lisa. Absolutely. Do exactly. you two think I'm completely stupid? Do you? What do you mean? Dad got that gun because he thinks Phil's coming here. And do you know what that says to me? Do you? It means that this ain't just about Louise. Now, for the last time, and so help me, you better tell me. I want to know what you did. Hey, calm down. Calm down. Get off. Get off me. All we want to do is protect you. That's all we want to do. Look, Dennis is right. I came back for you, Princess. Make sure nothing happened to you. Why would it? You mean the world to me. Phil knows that. He'd never hurt me. If it meant hurting me, he might. What have you done to him, Dad? Hmm? Then set him up. We set him up. <laughs> oh, I should have guessed. Should have seen that one coming. I wanted to tell you. I swear, mm. I wanted to tell you. Well, go on then. Put me out my misery. That robbery you got put away for? I set it up. You put away an innocent man? He was in on the robbery. He had it coming to him. Who made you judge, jury, and executioner? Oh, he did that for himself. What? Swanning around the place as if he owned it. Oh, and you're any different? Look what he did to Lisa. What do you care, Dad? You hardly knew her. He set up the drugs at the club. He had Dennis beaten up. Oh, and you think you're better? Oh, yes, I am. Because I reeled him in, I landed him, and I got him. Making out I was weak. Kowtowing to him, pretending I was in awe of him. How can you have that much hatred? You've hardly been here any time, and you destroyed someone you hardly knew. Oh, you know. He what? didn't deserve that. Oh, he deserved it. He hit you. He hit my daughter. Oh, tell me I'm not hearing this. My own daughter. You don't put a man away for that. He's not a man, he's an animal. He deserves to be locked up somewhere where he can never get to you again. That's not for you to decide. I'm your dad, and I'll decide and do whatever it takes. Oh, don't say those things, not you. I love you, Princess. I love you more than anything in the world, and I'm here for you now. Your dad's here to look after you. I don't want it like this. I don't. That's all Phil understands, Sharon. That's all you understand, you mean? And you. You think Phil's bad? We should take a good long look at yourselves because you're both down there with him. Sharon. Don't. I thought that at least my own brother and father would be honest with me. We didn't want you getting involved, that's all. How do the lies come that easily, eh? That's what gets me. They just roll off the tongue and you, you think I'm going to just lap them up. That's not what we think. Respect. That would have been nice, a simple little thing like that. We're going to get through this and afterwards we're all going to have a nice holiday together and when we get back we'll be everything you ever wanted us to be. It's too late for that. Way too late. 